So dot upload. Now this upload method we're going to pass the request, the context result, as well as options, and then we're going to have a callback function where we are going to set uh, basically th this post image. Uh, we're going to create a new one uh, with the URL set to a specific URL. And the, so what we're going to need here uh, at the very top under where it says const fs, we're going to create a new const called container underscore URL. And this is going to be from the perspective of the API. When we create a file URL, we're going to create uh, the URL that can be used to access. So that is going to be slash API. So it's going to be our host name slash API slash containers. And then another slash. And we're going to use this when we set the post image URL. So now that we've got that done, uh, oh, one more thing we're also going to key into, uh, hook into rather, is when we upload a file, we're actually going to uh, resize it as well. So we're going to upload, we're going to pass the parameters here, which is going to be ctx.rec. We're going to also pass ctx.result. Uh, as well as options and then a function. So I'm going to open up brackets right here and we're going to either have access to an error or a file. And I'm going to uh, put that over into an arrow function. Now, if there's an error, uh, we're going to just initiate the callback with the error as the error. And the way that a callback works is it can take one or two parameters. It's a function. So uh, I'll show you guys what I mean. So if error, we're going to run CB, which is what we've uh, labeled it up here uh, as the parameter we're actually taking. And then the first parameter that we're going to pass to the CB function is going to be the error itself. Uh, now, if there's no error, then I actually need to uh, put spaces there. So if there's no error, then we know that we've got the file uploaded successfully. We know where it's accessible, and that is going to be uh, slash server slash storage slash post images slash and then the name of the file so we know all this already what we can do is first let's get the single file as an object and so the way we're going to do that is we're going to say var file info is going to be equal to file dot and then it's kind of like um, if you've ever worked with upload forms and form data, which we will, so you will as well, we can access dot .files, dot .file, and then the index number. Uh, so it's an array. So what we're going to do is access file, which is the parameter that's being passed into this callback function which then has a property under it called files and then file zero. This is going to get the first instance of a file and we can then access file info dot name, for example, which is exactly what we're going to do. We are going to uh, use sharp now to create a copy uh, and we'll label it a little bit differently. So sharp, the way we're going to use this is we're going to specify the file's location. So dot server 
slash storage slash and then I'm going to put uh, ctx dot rec dot params dot container and then I'm going to uh, plus and then a slash and then one more plus and this is going to be file info dot name so we're using sharp to open up the storage directory slash post images which is stored as this parameter right here slash and then the file name which will be for example myfile.jpg all right so we're opening it with that line here we're going to drop down to another line and then dot resize and we're going to resize it to a hundred so this is going to create the thumbnail now once we've done this it's in memory so we actually now need to write it to a file so we're going to call dot to file and this is camel and this is camel case so the f is capital and we're going to now pass the path where we're going to save it so slash server storage uh, forward slash and then a plus we're going to say ctx dot rec dot params dot container plus and now we're going to add a forward slash and let's say a hundred dash and then the, the original file name so uh, file info dot name and then a callback function. So this is going to uh, possibly get an error. So I'm just going to pass it over into this function. Now, if we have an error, we don't want to do anything. So we'll say if uh, not error, then we will actually get to finally let me see if I can make this a little smaller. There we go. So we can finally get to actually create the post image instance. All right. So we're going to say post post image dot create and we'll open up a function here. And just like any other creating uh, post image, we're going to uh, open up these curly braces here. And we're going to set the URL to container URL plus the container itself plus, and then it's going to be a specific route. So if we look at this here, uh, we'll see the, the, the type of route that we need to adhere to is going to be slash download slash file. Uh, and so we will actually get that working right now. We may have to make modifications to this a bit later once we can test this route out. That is fine. For now, we'll get the very basics in here, which is URL is going to be container URL plus, and now we're going to add uh, plus file info dot container plus slash download slash and then plus file info dot name now this is going to put the full sized image uh, linked to this URL property so what I'm going to do is create thumbnail as another property and that's going to be equal to essentially the same thing. So I'm going to paste it here. The only difference is after download here, we need to add the uh, 100 dash. So this is going to get the thumbnail URL. So 100 dash and then the file name itself. Now I believe also we have a created at. So let's go ahead and set that created underscore at is new date. And then post ID is going to be equal to the post ID passed into the route itself. So right, where's that? Here, yeah, post ID right there. And 
Yeah, let's also, okay, so after post ID, let's get user underscore ID, and we'll pass that into the route as well. So user ID is going to be equal to uh, user underscore ID, and then let's add a trailing comma. And under here, we, where we actually specify the post ID, let's copy this, and on the next line down, let's uh, replace post with user, so that we're actually passing a user ID into that route. And then I'm going to get uh, error two, or image, and I'm going to put it into an arrow function. Now, what we need to do at this point is if there's an error, we need to call the callback with the error. So if error two, we're going to write CB for the callback function and we're gonna pass error two to the callback function else we're going to call the callback function with null as the first parameter, which means there is no error. And the actual information we're gonna pass back is the image file itself. Now I'm gonna come add some semicolons to the end of these lines. And this is our upload script. So let's go ahead and fix auto fixable problems. Uh, access token, yeah, let's ignore that. Uh, so this is gonna be like indent problems right here. Quick fix, all fixable problems. Uh, and this is kind of annoying because it only does it in chunks and I'm not sure why. Uh, camel case, uh, ignore those. Uh, and so that's max line. So what we'll do is we will disable max line so we no longer get those errors. And then we just have these camel case ones. So let's actually ignore those, disable camel case for entire file. There we go. This is our upload method written. So let's save this. And now when we run npm start and visit our API, so let's ex let's refresh the explorer. We go into post image and we will now see our upload method at the bottom here and the description that we wrote for it uploads a file. Now if we expand this down, we'll see it's a post method. We'll see options for each of these things. Now we're going to be using form data. So when we actually get to a React page where we can upload a file, we're gonna be using form data within that scope and we'll send it over to this route, post images forward slash upload uh, via the API. And then we'll start seeing images being stored within our MongoDB instance. So I guess uh, we've talked about image editing in this video as well as creating uh, custom endpoints. And so I guess in the next video, I mean, we could be just about done here, ready to get back to our React application and tying this all together. I think to I think one of the first things that I will do is going to be uh, testing out, writing a function to test out this image file upload script. So we'll need to create a login and then the, you know, the, the post uh, table to view existing posts and then the adding a post screen. So I guess we'll start getting back to that in the next video.